Welcome back, everybody, to Farming Simulator 22 on the Silver Road Force map. I'm an old guy gaming, and uh, I'm bringing you back to show you something cool that I am going to do in regards to moving the brush more quickly. Uh, so I finished going around with the Tree Devourer, and we got all of the the small trees all of the dead trees off the property or when i say all you know probably 98 percent of them there's probably still one or two that i missed uh, and we cleaned up all the stumps uh, so that's done and then you know the next thing i wanted to do why is that crooked i don't know uh, the next thing i wanted to do is go around with the forestry mulcher and remove you know the underbrush problem with this is a it's very slow as wonderful as it is, and B, it's, you know, it's it's wide for a forestry mulcher, but it's still not super wide. So, um, I am going to try something different here. So, what we're going to do, we're going to go into the store. I have downloaded a uh, and installed a mod called the John Deere Batwing Mower. And uh, this can actually be configured as a mulcher. Um, or a mower. However, I tested it as a mulcher and it's not, it, it wasn't working. Um, so what I did was I also installed another mod called Real Mower or Real Mowing or something like that. And what that mod does is it, it may basically allows you to mow like you would in real life. In other words, um, you know, if you run a mower like this over brush, it's going to cut the brush down, that kind of thing. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get this guy. I, I tried one other, uh, alternative out to another mod, but I like this one better because this is just a little bit wider than the other mod and it's about four miles an hour or three miles an hour faster, you know, and all that matters over a long period of time. Uh, we're going to put these Midas wheels on cause I feel like that'll be better for the forest. And the other th nice thing about this too, is that we can. Um, we can also use this as an actual grass mower later on, um, you know, when we when we uh, do sheep, which I am planning on doing. Uh, and this is relatively inexpensive. I've already tested it, so we're just going to flat out buy it. There's no point in leasing it. And there we go. Okay, so uh, what we're going to do is jump in the tractor. Now, this will not deal with stumps, though. So I'm, I'm going to have to keep the forestry mulcher mounted to the front of the tractor. In case you know we we come across a stump that I you know might have um, forgotten to do. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, let's see. Disconnect this. Why isn't that disconnecting? I don't know. Um, pop out of here. There we go. Okay. And it is obviously uh, dark out now, but I wanted to get this done before I, you know, slept for the night. So first thing in the morning, we can get going on the logging. Not that that really matters, but it's kind of fun working at night because, you know, you get all the lights on and stuff too. Okay, so we'll hook the bat wing up. If you're curious, and maybe you're going to try this in your own game, if you look in the help menu in the upper left-hand corner, it's the O key that'll turn the real mower function off and on. Um, so, so it's toggleable, which is good because there might be situations where you don't want to, you know, cut something you're not supposed to or whatever. Uh, well, when I say not supposed to, the, as it's defined in the base game. Uh, but I have it turned on, uh, so that means we should be able to cut pretty much everything that the first remulcher would do with the exception of, again of stumps now i don't you know i i like this smaller undergrowth it just it makes things look really really nice and turn and you know very natural for forest but it's just this larger brush that we're going to try and knock down and not you know not necessarily even get all of it but get the majority of it because otherwise you know when we're down here in the toolies inside of this stuff we can't we can't see what we're doing Okay, so let's go ahead and unfold this guy. Start it up. And drop her down. 
Okay. So yeah, I'm gonna run through and knock down the majority of this larger brush. See, this is nice too, because I can go 14 miles an hour. It's about, I don't know, I'd say probably 40% wider than the forestry mulcher. And if I did, you know, if I did get into in between some tight trees, I can always temporarily, you know, fold it up to, to get out like that. So I think it's a pretty good solution um, all the way around. Okay, so yeah, let's get some of this brush knocked down here. I think we've done a pretty good job of clearing out uh, the majority of the brush. Um, definitely got most of it, and I can always, you know, run over it again after we get the trees down. And uh, in case you're wondering why, here, let's just do a little more here. Uh, why I, I got the stuff way out in the open area that isn't around the trees is because we are going to be planting new trees there in the future and I want you know want the brush out of the way so I'm gonna have to fold that back up again so this has worked out very well um, I'm, I'm quite pleased with how well it's worked out and yeah I think we're gonna call this good and like I said I, I can touch touch it up a little bit more after we get the trees off the property uh, but it's pretty clear we have no dead trees unless I miss one or two which I might have we have no really really small trees um, about you know 90% of the the brush is out of the way so I think we're ready to log but what we need to do first is go to bed <laughs> So, I will meet you guys back here in Manana, and we'll get started with some logging. Hey guys, uh, before we go to sleep, I wanted to, uh, I took a quick look in the sales, and we have an, uh, the IT Runner grain contra uh, container for sale for 53% off. Uh, this holds um, 40, 45,000 liters. That's a huge amount of space. Um, and I think we're going to get it because we can, we can actually put wood chips in here. Uh, I think those are wood chips, right? Yeah, I think so. Uh, so we can use this for wood chips. We can use it for grain later on if we actually do grain, which I don't think we will, but you never know. Never say never. Uh, and it's a good buy. So, well, let's go ahead and get that. Uh, we could change the color if we wanted to. Uh, let's make it 
let's make it that blue and we'll put uh, OG's license on here. We want type two. Okay. Um, oh, for Pete's sake, <laughs> I forgot to, I forgot to actually, um, buy it. Now I got to do all this all over again. Darn it. Buy. There we go. Okay. So we got a nice new trailer there. Well, a new used trailer. Okay, let's go to bed. Hey, good morning, everybody. What a glorious October 3rd day it is out here. Um, all right. So what we're going to do is... Let's actually run up to uh, the lumber mill real quick. I just want to see how much lumber we we have um, produced. Because at some point we're going to need to go pick that up and deliver it to the roller coaster and sell, you know, sell the excess. So we'll head on down there, take a look at that first. And I should also look at my paper mill. I think the paper mill can spawn three rolls before it runs out of space. Wow, those tinted windows are pretty tinted. <laughs> um, but the paper, the paper we're just gonna sell for at least for now. We might need it for a production later, but for for now, it's just that's just for for cash for us. All right, let's just go. We can turn off over here. Okay, yeah, we got, we definitely have some, some lumber here. Uh, these are our long planks. It says there's a thousand pieces in there. There's no way there's <laughs> a thousand pieces in there, but whatever, okay. It's uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 28, 50. It's about 56 pieces. These are the beams. Wood beams. These look nice. These are the prefab walls. And these are the short planks. Very cool. All right. So, uh, yeah, at some point, I, I don't want to do, do it in this episode, but maybe in the next episode, we'll come up here and load all this stuff up and take it to the roller coaster and sell the excess. Okay. Um, let's just look at the paper mill from here. So the paper mill and actually the metal too. Yeah, we still have lots of metal. So, we're, you know, when this gets at least below half, we will go up there at that point. We'll grab whatever metal's ready to go, and I'll set up that conveyor system. Uh, let's see, we wanted to look at this. Okay, so if this is a, at 1,000 liters, it, it, it takes 3,000 liters to, to spawn a roll. So I'm guessing we probably have two rolls, and it's working on the third roll. I suppose we could run down there really quick. Why not? Because it gives us an excuse to ride in our awesome pickup truck here. Yeah, let's just run down there and look at it just for funsies. Oh, by the way, um, the one of the carvings is right here, sitting on this stump. This is one of the ones that I kind of accidentally found out about by watching another youtuber uh but you know it's right here at the mill we were here so it looks like a woodpecker uh -huh. 
You have found the woodpecker sculpture. Nine more to go. We're over halfway there, guys. Awesome. Okay, cool. Um, and that added a, a cool 50 grand to our an account uh, to our account too. All right, let's just run down quickly to the paper mill. Take a quick look, see uh, at what's going on there, and then we are going to get to logging. Yep, we have two rolls, and we have room for one more. So, um, again, probably in the next episode, we will we'll hit all of our productions and, and get everything sold and delivered. Very cool. All right, let's head on back to the new logging property and get started with some logging. So what we're going to do is we're going to stage our containers um, in this open area over here. Except for the, the six meter. I'm just going to leave the six meter there for now. So let's get the, that guy out of the way. And we need to purchase two containers and get them on the low boys. And get those in position. And at, like I'd mentioned in a previous episode, I'm going to put the spruce... We're going to cut the spruce to probably 8 meter lengths and we're going to put them in the IT trailer along with scrap wood. We won't have as much scrap wood because I've already got rid of the dead wood and the smaller trees, but we'll still have, you know, like the tips and stuff. And that stuff will go to our productions. I guess I need to get um, this thing out of the way probably can't get forks underneath it so yeah let's get that trailer out of the way in fact we're leasing this aren't we yeah we are we don't even need this anymore now that we have that larger trailer uh incidentally i didn't tell you guys this but oh wow look at that the 951 is in the sale it's only got 10 months on it Boy, you know, <laughs> if that would have been on sale yesterday, I might have actually purchased this instead of the Rotney. But, you know, I wanted the Rotney, though. It's just one of those things. So, wow. There's just, there's just, there's no reason that I can think of why we would ever want two of these. Uh, because we, because we can't have the AI run them. We have to do it ourselves, and obviously we can't be in two places at the same time. I'm not that talented. The only thing I'm thinking of is, would we ever want, you know, down the road, when we have multiple properties and multiple trees ready to harvest, it could be handy to have two machines, uh, two harvesters, but I, I think that's a bit bigger chunk than we want to bite off right now anyways financially speaking i mean we're in good shape money wise but you know we're not we're not billionaires either <laughs> so anyway uh yeah let's get rid of this this trailer we don't need it anymore uh well at least at least we don't need it right now this i'm renting to own so we're going to hang on to that regardless so let's return no 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 no, no. this I'll return that and this new, much larger grain trailer we can also use for wood chipping the next time we do it. Are uh, we connected here? It doesn't look like it. Okay. You know, another thing that occurred to me, too, is that the next time I go through the trees like I was doing with the mower last night, I'm going to remove the dually wheels on this because uh, that'll help us make us more maneuverable. Oh, wait. I need the actual trailer for this. So, actually, you know what we can do, too, then, is let's just take the log trailer and stage it. Okay, so what we'll do with this is let's stage it kind of over this direction.
That should be good. This is such a useful setup, man. I really like this IT runner business. Okay. Okay, I'm going to leave the hook down because we're going to have to go pick up the grain trailer next. Yeah, that was a nice buy, man. Nice trailer, too. Happy that we got that. 42,000 liters is a decent amount of space, too. Okay, let me just park you here for now. Um, the other thing I was... I didn't... I don't think I told you guys is that I got um, I probably got about 80,000 ish liters of wood chips uh, and I, I decided to dump it all over here and I'm gonna sit on this until December because December is the best time to sell wood chips uh, no January sorry yeah January is the best time so yeah, we'll sit on that. Uh, there's a huge price fluctuation in wood chips too. So you definitely want to wait until the price is good to, you know, it's actually not bad right now though. 807. That's close to 972, but yeah, we still should wait. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I guesstimate there's about 80,000 liters of wood chips here. So yeah, that's cool. Um, we might, since we're over here, we might as well drive this truck. You know, we need to give our trucks a, a good scrubbing down. They, they are filthy. Uh, we have not washed our trucks since we purchased them. So yeah, let's do that. And our trailers too could stand to use a little, little bit of TLC. And while we're at it, we might as well repair too. Keep everything in good condition, man. It's important. It's important for farming. It's important for logging. Uh, no, we don't need to repaint. Okay. Now we'll go over to our washer over here. Whoa. Let's give it a good hosing down. It's not a bad looking truck once you get all the dirt off it. What does that say? Super, super something. I think, oh, super liner, yeah, super liner. That's better. Let's hit the trailer too. Okay. Let's um, go stage this in the parking lot and we're gonna do the same thing with the other truck. Okay, all nice and repaired and clean. Uh, so, <clears throat> excuse me, now what we wanna do is purchase two of the um, uh, 12 meter containers. I like the 12 meter sun. Let's go with the green. Let's go with John Deere green. And we'll do lizard logistics for this one. And we'll do lizard forestry for this one. Just because we can, and it doesn't cost us anything. Okay, let's get these guys loaded up.
All right, you guys, I think we're ready to go logging. Got everything staged here. We'll do our spruce scrap wood in the IT runner trailer. We have all of the uh, underbrush, or most of the underbrush taken care of. All the dead wood's out. All the small trees are out. And uh, we're ready to get started here. So let's jump in the Rotney and try out our brand new machine. Ooh, look at this, man. This is like a starship in here. <laughs> it feels like it was in the cockpit of a of a space uh, a little fighter ship or something. That is so neat. Uh, okay, so let's see. This one has the weird Z for unfold instead of X, like just about everything else does. <laughs> and um, I wanted to actually look at something real quick here. If we go back to here and. To here. Oh, that's right. It doesn't tell us how long this trailer actually is. Um, I measured it once, but I don't remember if it was six or eight meters. I'd like to go see if we can get away with two meters longer. I hope that doesn't screw up it trying to load, though. Well, let's do this. Uh, we're gonna try get do our little measuring tool, but I'm I'm going to just measure the ground here. Zero. Oh, so it's about a seven meter. It's a seven meter trailer. Interesting. Okay. So, I wonder if we could get away with nine meter logs then. I know we can do eight. I think we can do eight. Depends upon what the Rotney can do, I suppose. Um, my only concern is, you know, is if we get a full load of big spruce logs on here and they're sticking out to about here, when this is pulled up onto the trailer, is it going to screw it up? I guess there's only one way to find out. <laughs> um, okay, so yeah, we'll what we'll do is we'll do nine meter spruce logs for the IT runner, and uh, we'll do twelve meter. Ponderosa and Lodgepole for these trailers. Okay. Very good. Let's hop in here. Um, so let's see, what's who's our first victim? <clears throat> I think for the occasional um pine, you know, normal pine tree, rock pine or whatever it's called. Uh, we'll probably just take those to our mill, too, and we'll just do lodge poles and ponderosas for selling. Okay, and this is one of the normal pines, so we're going to set this to 9 meters. And we should be able to use the auto-align thing now. Oh, look at that. It works. Beautiful. Yeah, see that? I, I could never get that to work with the... Um, with the head on the excavator, it just didn't uh, didn't behave. Okay, so let's see if we can stage the spruce and the pine over here, and we're at nine meters, so we should be able to cut. And of course, we're putting this scrap wood in this trailer too, so that worked out great. Okay, we have another pine tree right here, so let's get it next. I think that's a pine, yeah. Is this a pine or a rock pine? It just says pine, okay. All right. Look at that, automatic alignment, baby. And the only thing is, is I, I want to take it down further so we can... Um, you know, get it cut as close to the ground as possible. Oh, oopsie. Um, Houston? All right, well, let's cut the, <laughs> let's cut the log first. Hey, if you ever wanted to know what the underneath side of a Rotney harvester looks like, there you go. <laughs> That 
that was um, not supposed to quite happen that way. All right, can we get this thing uprighted? It looks like a big insect or something that fell over on its back and can't get back up. All right, we might have to do a little bit of admin magic here. <laughs> I can't believe that happened. Well, actually, I can. Actually, you know what? Let's just let's just pretend it never happened at all. Man, that, I like that idea. Okay. <laughs> all righty. Um, since we're still set to nine meters, let's grab this spruce next. All the way down to the ground. Okay. And then can we kind of swing it over this way a bit and raise it up? No, this way. I don't think we want it to go out that far. All right, well, that'll have to do. We'll get a close-up view of the cut here. You know, the other thing, too, is I'm probably going to get multiple IT log trailers because we're going to have way more wood than our productions are going to be able to keep up with. And then we just drop the trailers off and leave them there. Okay, let's see here. We got another spruce and a pine over here. Maybe we'll just focus on those for the for the first few cuts and get them out of the way before we work on the other stuff. Let's straighten this out. And I want to bring this down so it's whoops close to the ground already. Are you there? Yeah, okay. I couldn't quite tell what it was doing. Turn it this way. Yeah, we're we're gonna have so much wood <clears throat> for our productions. I I might not be able to sustain this particular method, and we'll have to go back to just selling it. Not a not a problem, of course. It's just uh, I don't see my productions being able to keep up with this much wood. We'll see how it works out, though. All right, we got a rock here, but he is lined up. Let's just bring it down. I didn't even have to auto-align that one. It just happened. It just happened naturally. Okay, we should be able to just swing this over. Well, okay, hold on. We still have to go this way a little more. It's caught up on the other tree there. Okay, so can we... No, that's going to cause us to tip over again. All right, right here's good. <laughs> we'll go with this. Excellent. Okay, that's a pond. Those are both ponderosas. We're going to leave them alone for the moment. Um, what we could do, though, is... We could grab this little lodgepole. Um, in fact, are we even going to get... I don't even know if we'll get a 12 meter out of this. Well, here, there's one way to find out. 
Nope, it's 11.6 meters. Okay, so what we're going to do with this is we're going to take it over by the 6 meter trailer. And then the tip of it we'll bring back over here. That's the nice thing about being uh, having everything close is you can just use the harvester to position the logs. But once we get further out, then we'll have to use the skidder again. Okay, so we want to set this to a 6 meter. That goes 12, 15, 20, max 6. So it's, it's pretty much the same as the other head was. Okay, set that back to nine. This machine is it's faster and more maneuverable too than the excavator, so that's another reason why um, I wanted to switch to it. Right, throw the scrap piece there. Okay, any more spruce or pine? in the immediate vicinity. I'm not seeing any. Uh, yeah, there's a pine tree over there. There's actually two pine trees over here. Three pine trees. Okay, let's get this down on the ground. I bet you this is going to get bound up. Yep. Can we... Don't think we can go that way with it. Let's try this. There we go. Swing it over this way. Kind of gnarly looking at the top there. And eh, even if that did give us six meters, I'm, it's not a significant piece of wood, so I'm not worried about it for the container. Yeah, see, now this would be very hard to do in first person because I can't see anything. It's a good thing we have this camera, huh? We'll do the same thing. We'll just back up this way and swing it on over. I suppose what we could do is get two more IT log trailers and fill them up and then just have one sitting down at the paper mill and one sitting at the lumber mill. Okay, we got some shorty lodge poles here. Do the six meter rack right cheer. And the scrap piece over here. And 
then same thing for this one. Yeah, man, this is like the Cadillac of uh, forestry harvesters. <laughs> okay, we got a pine hill. Change this to nine meters. We probably are getting close to a full trailer load there. Okay, yeah, so I think that takes care of all of the pines and the short lodge poles in this immediate vicinity. So why don't we do this? Why don't we load up the IT runner trailer and see if we have a full load. Turn the lights off here. Okay. Why don't we... Let's use a front loader for this one. Just for something different. Do I have the lines hooked up to this? I do now. try and do a whoops a shove here I thought those were down further um yeah actually I'm gonna want those to fit in there pretty evenly so Let's um, let's use our high lift because the high lift has the pusher on it. Switch to the other mode. Man, that stumps a pain in the butt. You know what? I'm just going to get rid of it this way. 
Um, oh, you know what? That's probably too low to the ground for me to do with this. All right, whatever. Um, and then let's come around and push from over here, I suppose. I'm going to grab these two logs here. Now, can we do this to get those other logs more or less light? Well, I <laughs> just screwed that one up now. Um, all right, let's just load these. That's gonna nope. Okay, I was gonna say I think that might hit the headboard, but it's in. Come on, man. Get up over the top there. Oh, for Pete's sake. Seriously? No, that's not what I had in mind. I was trying to straighten those guys up. Okay. You know what? Actually, I should have done in the in the first place is brought the skitter over here. Um. Or even the tractor with the mulcher to get rid of those daggone stumps. And then we can push with this. So, yeah, let's do that instead. All right, guys, this is not, <laughs> not a pretty load. Uh, but I was able to get it on the trailer. So I think what we're going to do is uh, we're going to take this to the paper mill and just hop it off and then probably drop the whole thing off at the lumber mill, depending upon it, how much it'll take, I suppose. But yeah, that was a that was a royal pain in the neck, man. Just things weren't quite uh, working as smoothly as I would have liked them to. Um, okay, so let's see. We could go up this dirt road here and around that way to get to the paper mill. So, yeah, that'll probably be, I don't know if it'll be faster, but it'll be a neater drive, if nothing else. And I'm probably going to bring up the big map here just so I can see a little bit better which direction we're going. So yeah, let's just go top off the paper mill. It's, it's not going to take very much. And then um, we'll do the lumber mill next. Okay. Took a little bit. That should completely fill up the paper mill. Well, close enough to completely full. Yeah, note to self. 
don't cross the river when you're coming this way next time. Uh oh. Come on. Where if we go? Okay, everybody avert your eyes. This isn't actually happening. Let's get down in the pond here and then we'll release the straps and get rid of this pain in the butt load. Wow, that worked so well I didn't even have to tip the trailer back. Okay, that should keep the lumber mill in good shape for a while. It's still not completely full though. This, this thing takes a lot of wood. Very good. All right, you guys. Well, I think we're going to have to wrap up this episode. I've already gone way longer than I should have, but I'll, you know, as usual, edit it down a bit. So I'm going to keep logging on the property there. And um, at some point in the near future, we'll start the next episode and go from there. Um, the main plan for the next episode is... Uh, we're, it, well, at least to start with, is for us to deliver... Uh, the goods from our productions. Uh, I might even pass another day and get into November before I bring you guys back just so we have more stuff, you know, from the productions. But we'll just see how things go. Uh, with that, I'm going to let you go here. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.